welcome back to this show. Today, we're going to dive deep into a controversial topic, pet fees on Airbnb. Now, Airbnb offers a feature where hosts can set a flat pet fee for their listings. But let me tell you, it's a feature I do not recommend. Here's the deal. The problem with the flat pet fee is that it lacks flexibility. It doesn't take into account how many pets the guests are bringing, how long they're staying, or even the type of pet they have. Whether a guest stays for two weeks or just one night, they're charged the same fee. And that's not fair. So, what do I recommend instead? Well, I've been using a different strategy in our business and I have found it to be very helpful. I don't rely on Airbnb's flat fee feature. Instead, I state in the house rules that our home is pet friendly, but we accept pets on a case by case basis. And here's the kicker. I charge $35 per night per pet with a cap of $200. By having this approach, I can actually make more money with the pet fees. I allocate a portion of it to my cleaning team, inspectors, and supplies to ensure thorough cleanliness. Plus, it's a fair way to charge guests who stay for a longer duration with their furry friends compared to those staying for just a night or two. Now, let me share three tips to ensure your success with this strategy. First and foremost, clearly state the fee and how you'll collect it in both your listing and house rules. Transparency is key. Tip number two, automate the messaging after booking. Send an automated message to guests reiterating the collection of the pet fee on the day of arrival and confirming their agreement. And tip number three, if you receive a booking request, respond promptly and answer any questions they may have. Don't forget to reiterate the pet fee and the collection process, ensuring they're fully aware and agreeable. Now, let's talk about the benefits of implementing this strategy. Firstly, you'll make more money. The flat fee becomes a thing of the past, allowing you to charge based on the number of pets and their length of stay. Secondly, if a guest decides not to bring their pet, you won't have to refund any fees because you charge them on the day of arrival. And lastly, having a separate pet fee allows you to have a clear understanding of your nightly rate without complicating it with various fees. But let's keep it real. Occasionally, you might encounter guests who are surprised by the fee, despite your clear communication. As a host, it's up to you how to handle such situations and respond to those guests. Remember, you're in control of your own business. So there you have it, the inside scoop on why I refuse to use Airbnb's flat pet fee feature. By implementing my dynamic pet free strategy, you can maximize your earnings, ensure fairness, and maintain a clear understanding of your nightly rate. But hey, I understand that navigating all these strategies and details might seem a bit overwhelming. If you're feeling unsure or simply want to streamline your hosting experience, we've got you covered. We offer the most affordable co-hosting package in the industry. Just click on the link in the bio to learn more and get started. Remember, as a host, you have the power to shape your own business and provide exceptional experiences for your guests, both human and furry. Until next time, happy hosting!